welcome back so I don't usually start my videos looking like this but it is Sunday morning and I thought I would do a what I eat in the day because I'm gonna be home all day and yeah I just thought it would be kind of fun I took last week off of YouTube so I have not done like filming and anything like that in so long it feels like so I'm happy to be back but I definitely needed last week to just like relax I feel like I haven't had a week where I haven't done YouTube in years at this point so it just kind of felt good to take a little break but we're gonna start off this video with iced coffee it's like my new thing I bought a frother so I'm gonna show you guys how I'm making my iced coffees okay so I have this frother I'm gonna add just a little bit of this milk and then I'm gonna add a little salt to make it kind of like a salted cold foam okay and while we're waiting for that to froth I'm gonna add a little bit of this hazelnut syrup which I really only use this on the weekends but it's kind of a fun little thing so I'm just gonna add tiny bit of that I don't add a ton and then I just made coffee last night and put it in the fridge put it over ice but I leave a little room for the cold foam okay the froth is done so I just spoon it on top that is the drink it is so good but for breakfast as you saw earlier I woke up super early to start cinnamon rolls which two things I usually am not a sweet person I usually like like a savory breakfast but I thought it'd be fun to try to make cinnamon rolls I'm also a terrible terrible baker um, so I think so far they look good. I'll show you where I'm at right now. Um, we haven't obviously tried them yet, so hopefully they taste good, but so far I'm very impressed with myself. This is what they currently look like. They're just kind of sitting for a half hour before I put them into the oven, but you guys, very impressed with myself. Mmm. Yum. Good. I'm gonna show it some more. <laughs> okay, these are out of the oven. They look so good. I just made some of the icing, so I'm gonna go ahead, let these cool for a little bit, and then ice them. Okay, so these are technically called salted brioche cinnamon rolls. So then on top, she said to just add a tiny bit of salt. We're babysitting our niece today, so Rowan's gonna be in part of the video. You have to taste test the cinnamon roll, okay? She does like the spatula <laughs> frosting the most. Yeah, sorry guys, we've let her really. lick that like couple times. <laughs> oh, that's a lot. Okay, should we try? They look really good. Take a big bite. Oh, it's falling apart. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Wanna try another bite? <laughs> she likes it. Mm. Do you want more? Those are super good ones. Yeah. You guys, I'm a baker. I can bake, bro. We. Yeah, that's probably too big for you. They're really like fluffy and just a little like crispy on the yeah, outside. Yeah, so good. So that was a very big success. This was. Um, First time making these. Uh huh. <laughs> super fun. Want more? Okay, it is a little bit later, and I'm going to make lunch really quick. I just made Rowie mac and cheese, which looks so good, but 
we're making pasta for dinner so I am just gonna stick with like a small salad so I'm gonna kind of just do I don't know my version of like a cob salad so just like I'll show you guys first off Rowie is having what did you have for lunch today you're having some organic mac and cheese and some cherries is it good can you tell them if it's good <laughs> Okay, so with my salad, I'm having a little bowl of cherries that are really good. And then I just have my salad, which I put olives, cucumbers, onions, cheese, croutons, and then like a French dressing with some pepper. Um, I was just thinking, my friends and I were just talking about how satisfying like TikTok mukbangs are. And I don't know why, because I hate hearing people chew, but for some reason, those type of videos are so like satisfying to watch and make me so hungry. Does anyone else feel like that? I feel like there has to be. I feel like those are super popular. I'm not used to having a baby in the background. Just running around. It is seven o'clock and we are gonna start dinner. Um, David has been recently trying to master a homemade vodka sauce and he's basically there. It is so good. Um, do you actually have the recipe? Um, no. Okay. Well, I'll maybe have him write it down and I'll leave it in the description if any of you guys wanna make it, but it is so good. So he's gonna make that and then I'm gonna make a garlic bread that I think I've made in other videos but it's kind of like a family recipe and it's so good. So that's what we're gonna do for dinner and I'm so excited. Okay, the pasta's done, which looks so good. Like I said, I'll have David um, put the recipe in the description box if you guys want to try it. It is amazing. Mm. It's like so spicy and so good. Really great description words, but <laughs> it's literally so good. Okay, and here is the bread. So what's in this is butter, mayo, parmesan, and garlic, and you just mix it all together and then put it on like a French bread and bake it. Okay, I'm gonna go finish eating this with David, and I'll check in with you guys if I end up eating anything else. I'm not really sure if I will, but cheers. Okay, so this is the last thing that I'm gonna eat for the day. It is an Italian ice, like icy. So my in-laws had these when I was there last and they are so good. They, um, this is a lemon flavored, but the pack that I got 
has like raspberry, kiwi, watermelon, and like an orange one or something. I actually found them on Amazon because I couldn't find them in store and they were that good. So I'll link them below if you guys like Italian ice. They're not like an icy or like the other type of little like, I don't know, frozen thing. That, I think they're called icies, right? Oh yeah, like a Mr. Freeze or something. They're like super soft, so it's really good. But that was a really weird description. But okay, that's what I'm having. Hope you guys enjoyed the what I eat in a day. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.